Right, in my last video I showed this excellent MT2 live sender set complete with seven interchangeable work holding centers. You can get this set in MT3 as well. And in that video I showed that you can actually make up your own work holding centers to be used in this tool. Also in that video I showed this um, work holding center that I made being used on the Chinese mini lathe to securely hold uh, polycarbonate tubing so it doesn't fly out the jaws when I'm facing it off. And this is the setup on the mini lathe and if you watch that video you'll see this tool in use. So now I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to actually make up this um, tool or the steel part of this tool on my Myford ML7 with an ER40 collet chuck. Right, so I'm going to be machining the tapered adapter on my Myford ML7 and I have an ER40 collet chuck set up on the lathe. If you're new to collet chucks, I just want to show you the two different nuts you can get to go on the end of it. This is the standard one piece type and this is one that I've recently bought. This one has a bearing system in the front here which turns nice and smoothly. The collet goes into it exactly the same way by twisting it into position until it clicks in. And it goes on the front of the um, collet chuck normally. But when you put the workpiece bar or whatever you're machining into it, you need very little force or torque to do this one up and hold the work really tight, much less than the original one. So these ones are really well worth getting. And I've got a short piece of um, 24 um, millimeter diameter mild steel bar. Now I've already um, set the angle from the last tool I made and um, on mine it's six and a half degrees.
And on the finish cut I use my um, 30 RPM 12 volt DC um, finishing tool. So before I give this a bit of a polish, I actually test the tool um, together on the taper. And I can feel that's um, gripping really well on that taper, so it's a perfect angle. And um, also, you've got to check that the tapered drift that came with the tool, they call it a wrench, but it's a drift, um, goes in between here. And you can actually give it a tap to release um, the taper. Now if you couldn't do that because the um, gap was too wide between the sh two shoulders obviously we would face off a bit more off the front here and re-skim with a finish cut until you close that gap a bit. So I'll leave the adapter in the um, collet chuck, I won't disturb that, I'm going to centre drill and do a core diameter for a 6mm thread right the way through. Right now I'm just giving the angle a polish up to um, finish. Um, you can get amazingly good finishes on this material. I'm not exactly sure that it's mild steel because um, it's part of one of these weightlifting bars. And I've shown these in other videos. They're a very good material, whatever they are. And like I say, you can get really good um, finishes on that. And you can see there, that's a lovely finish. So it's um, too long to actually tap right the way through from the back here, so I'll turn it round now. It doesn't matter because my um, collet chuck runs within a thou.
and then I can use my mandrel handle to actually tap that one. And that one's done. And that's the adapter finished with the 6mm stainless steel um, Allen bolt in the end there. And I can actually use that one then to make up whatever adapter I want to go on the end of that one um, for whatever work holding situation I have.